One of the things that's nice about the 246 is that we have direct inputs to the tape player here, the program inputs, and that bypasses the mixer altogether. So you can see all these mixer faders are turned down and the inputs are turned off, but we've got a more or less zero decibel signal going in there. What I'm actually doing at the moment here is uh, duplicating a TIAC test tape, the MTT122BN. And it's a level calibration one, but you can actually use it for a pitch as well. So at three and three quarter inches per second, that would give you a two kilohertz tone. At one and seven eighth inches per second, that's the slow speed. On this 44 Mark III, it would give you one kilohertz. And um, really what I've got is the four tape outputs from this Porter Studio going into the four tape inputs on this one. And uh, those original tapes are really, really loud. So you can see I've got the master fader turned down quite a lot so that the person I'm giving this tape to can use this tape as a good indication whether their playback amplifiers are calibrated for zero decibels or not. Like if they play this tape back and one of those needles is below zero dB on their meters, then maybe they need to turn that playback amp up. If their meter is showing above zero dB, then maybe that playback amp is too quiet and so on. But say I had a really elaborate mixer and I wanted to use that instead of the very good mixer that's built into the 246, I can get directly to the cassette player, the multi-track cassette player, without having the sound coloured by this mixer at all. Effectively, that makes this side of it like you know, a Tascam 234, some sort of rack mount tape unit.